my name is John Ramsey and I'm here to show you how you can test the effectiveness of the shielding of your JRE test enclosure. We use a Yagi antenna, which is broadband, uh, however we don't really look for the broadband characteristics in it, we're just using this because it's very directional. And then we have a synthesized signal source. The signal source is powered by two lithium ion batteries that will run for four to five hours and it puts out approximately uh, a quarter of a watt to a half a watt and uh, it runs at 2.45 gigahertz. You notice we're using a standard HP uh, spectrum analyzer here. When I turn the unit on, you can see the, the signal emanating from the signal source, turn it off, and it's gone. Uh, we displaying right now at the top of the signal peak, it's at the uh, top of the reference level, and that's what we'll call that 0 dB. That's what we're starting with. And then as we measure down, 10 dB, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and you'll see our noise floor is down at about 80 dB. So with this simple setup right now, with the settings on the spectrum analyzer, we'll be able to see a signal that's 80 dB down from what it was at the top. So in this case, we take our test enclosure, put the signal source inside, and you'll notice now, as I close the door, you'll see this peak slowly drop as the box is shielding out more and more of the signal. Now when I close the latch, this is engaging the double lip on the mesh and you'll see the signal go away entirely. So now what was up at the top is down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, more than 80 dB and you'll see we can't even see the signal now. So we know immediately this is more than 80 dB of isolation. We can take the antenna, move it all around the lips, looking for any little peaks that sneak out of there. Looking around the back, you can see a little bit coming up here, up by the vent. And what we did on here, we purposely let this screw a little bit loose so that you can see where some of the shielding can leak out. Around the interface plate, same thing. Run the antenna all along it, you'll see that these screws are all in nice and tight and there's nothing coming out from it. Going at the terminal strip, same thing, nothing. So now, open it up and you'll notice of course it goes way up off the screen whereas before it just went to the top. That's because we changed the input attenuator settings. The spectrum analyzer in its most sensitive state, I put a small piece of paper in the corner here so that you can see the leakage that comes from that. Just if there's a little bit of interference with the gasket, uh, you can see you'll have uh, the leakage barrier uh, violated by that. Uh, if we actually want to measure what that was, that was, uh, we were 20 at the top, now it's minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, minus 70, minus 80, minus 90, minus 100. And you'll see that what I'm measuring right there is about minus 95. There's minus 100 there. So with that piece of paper in there and the spectrum analyzer on its most sensitive setting, we're seeing a signal that's down about nine, minus, well, there's a little bit higher now as I touch it. Um, signal is down. A minute, right, right here is, there's minus 95, and you can see it getting down lower. And if I pull, if I open that up, take that paper out, close it up, you'll see now we don't see a thing. So it's very important to make sure that, uh, that your gaskets are sealing, work, sealing well, uh, if you use it uh, quite often, and uh, the gaskets uh, become deformed, uh, you may have to adjust the hinge to get a little bit more life out of the gaskets, or of course we'd be more than glad to sell you a new set of gaskets. But uh, basically, uh, I want to show you is that it's very important for shielding integrity that you have everything seated correctly. You can't have wires running in and out of the box, out the door. They all have to go through a shielded panel. We're looking at signal uh, attenuation that is, is so great, the slightest little thing, this piece of paper which I measured earlier to be three mils thick, three thousandths of an inch, thickness of a human hair can cause that sort of uh, violation of the, of, the, uh, of the shielding barrier.